In the world today, there are two great influences on studio glass. One is Venice and the other is the Czech Republic. The traditions here go back as far as Venice. They're completely different. So one is like glass blowing from Jupiter and the other is like glass blowing from Mars. They couldn't be more different, but they both master the material and they're also very sensitive to the material so that magic happens in both cases. Myslím si, že tam máme hrozně silný základ v tom sklářství a že to nevyužíváme úplně. Že jenom opakujeme něco, co vidíme a čerpám z toho umu. Petra Krozova had these great ideas to take some techniques that I use in Renaissance Venetian glass and apply them to her work. Merrick made the vessel. I practiced making the twisty parts. And then when the moment came, we put the two together. So the trick was to make the vessel and keep the vessel hot while I made the squiggly parts and put them on. Sklo je pro mě materiál, ze kterého mám prostě respekt. Bojujeme s tím materiálem tak, že se ho snažíme skrotit. To sklo je výjimečné oproti ostatním materiálům v tom, že je to o určitých okamžicích, kdy dostane tvar a formu takovou, jakou požadujeme. Everything has to be just right. You have to have enough glass. It has to all be the same temperature. I have to stab it in the optic mold and come out and spin and then twist it around this rod. And it all has to happen in about 30 seconds. The Czech tradition with glass is very different than the one I'm used to working with. So Merrick, who's very confident and comfortable with the Czech tradition, made the vessel. I made the more Venetian looking part because that's what I normally do. Ceramics are great, wood is great, metal is great, but glass is it. Glass is the most magical material that I've ever encountered. And there's an infinite number of possibilities, and if you had 10 lifetimes, you wouldn't scratch the surface. <laughs>